This photo, titled Raising the Flag in Iwo Jima, was taken on February 23rd, 1945, by an Associated Press photographer named Joe Rosenthal. The photo depicts the raising of the American flag on the desolate Japanese island of Iwo Jima on Mount Suribachi by five U.S. Marines and one U.S. Navy sailor. It gave hope to the Americans back home and gave them belief that there was hope for America to defeat the Japanese army. Three of the Marines in the photo were killed after the shot was taken, and the other three were recognized as heroes shortly after the photo went famous. Soldiers in the pictures are as follows from left to right. Ira Hayes, Franklin Sisley, John Bradley, and Harlem Block, and the two in the farther back are Michael Strank and Rene Gagnon. The photographer, Joe Rosenthal, was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for this photo the same year it was published, and it was the first photo that was awarded the Pulitzer Prize the same year it was published. However, Rosenthal was not the only one that was at Iwo Jima. There was the first flag that was raised on top of the mountain, and the raising of the flag was captured by Sergeant Lois Lowry, a United States Marine Corps photographer. The first flag was replaced, however, by a more famous larger one so that it could be seen from farther away. There was some controversy that surrounded the picture that claimed Rosenthal had the soldiers pose for the photo. However, it was a misunderstanding with another picture, one that he took after Iwo Jima. Ira Hayes, one of the flag raisers, was a Native American man from Arizona. He is the one that is the farthest left in the picture. He became one of the most famous men that raised the flag, given that he had kept receiving letters asking whether or not he was the Indian that raised the flag at Iwo Jima. Hayes also has a biopic movie about him called The Outsider. Harlem Block, killed at Iwo Jima, was misidentified as Sergeant Henry Hansen, and Hayes attempted to fix that mistake. However, the Marines had silenced him. When Rosenthal climbed up the summit to take the photograph, he was in awe and struck by what had had to have been done to raise the flag. He thought about the other days, such as D-Day and all the fighting that had happened that could have led to such an event. My personal connection with this photograph is my grandfather on my mother's side from Indonesia, who was almost sent into fighting with the Japanese but was able to escape with his family and keep everyone else safe, and my father who was alive during World War II.